it's dragon child for this video we are doing a bleach dyeing project now if you've been on the internet then you would know that bleach and tie dyeing has been super super popular as of lately but i also think it's always been popular especially in the summer activity with kids and teenagers to just tie dye their clothes but i feel like it's gotten extra extra popular with celebrities and influencers wearing those matching tie dye sweat sets and i want to kick it up a notch but not really because I'm not tie dyeing a sweat set. But I've kind of seen a couple videos and a couple TikToks here and there of people drawing with bleach on clothing, especially if it's a black t-shirt. I really like that idea and wanted to try my hand at it. So I know this video is super, super late, especially if you are a part of the BTS ARMY. I guess Dee's Deja Top music video came out in like June or July. So it's a couple months late that I'm posting this video, but I wanted to share this content anyways. So it's if you're not a part of the BTS army and you're just here to watch the video, I can assure you, you can still bleach, paint, draw, anything your heart desires. I also did a dragon t-shirt not long after I did this t-shirt. If you want to try it, or if you're really good at drawing or painting, I challenge you to do it and you're probably gonna do it better than I am. So let's just get into the video. <laughs> You'll need a black t-shirt and some bleach. Here I'm using a bleach pen that I got from Target, but you can use any bleach that you have laying around at home. I would suggest diluting the solution just a little bit, so maybe about half of water and half of bleach, because bleach can eat away at your fabric. And I worked fairly quickly, so I was fortunate that it didn't eat away too much of my t-shirt. I did start out with using the pen, but I did eventually switch over to using my bleach solution solution with a paintbrush and it works exactly the same way as you would with a bleach pen. There's really no difference in control on how you use it. So the front of the t-shirt I am writing Dejita in Korean and I'm just referencing the YouTube video since the YouTube video has both the English and the Korean words for Dejita and I'm just placing it right in the center of the t-shirt and just make sure you're like actually like writing it nicely. Since this was kind of my just first rough draft of a t-shirt, I didn't do my Korean letters very well and I just didn't quite like how I wrote some of them but I wanted to just have the t-shirt be very sporadic be very grungy so after I did write down my letters I tried to do a splatter effect on the t-shirt but I would have needed a bigger paintbrush to do the flicking motion but I didn't want it to get everywhere because I was on my porch and I just didn't want bleach to bleach random stuff that I didn't know could bleach so I didn't do that as well I would like to but you also have total creative freedom on how you want the front of the t-shirt to look like. I drew random squigglies, random paint blotches on the t-shirt, literally total creative freedom how you want it to look. You can also just draw another version of Yoongi slash Augusti slash Suga. Gosh he has multiple names but since this is just a tie, I'll go with Augusti. You can also draw another version of Augusti on the front of your t-shirt. I just wanted the front of the t-shirt to be relatively just plain and then my focal point be on the back. Moving on onto the back, if you're anything like me, I highly suggest sketching out your sketch of a guesty before you start with the bleach. It helps out a lot to figure out your proportions and how you want him to look. Even then when I started with the bleach, it just went in the direction and then I preferred it in the pencil that I used. Also, I'm using a water-soluble pencil to sketch this out and a water-soluble pencil washes out with water, so don't be too worried if you still see it on your t-shirt, it will go away as you continue to move along with the bleach. If you're going in without the sketch and straight in with the bleach, I would start out with the chin even without my sketch just because it kind of gives me a little bit of foundation and proportion of where the rest of the face might be, especially because the reference picture that I'm using, he's wearing his straw hat. So only from like the eyebrows, not even the eyebrows, from the eyes downward, you can only see that part of the face. Since the face is the focal point, it is a little bit difficult to do. So so when I'm drawing out Augusti's eyes, he kind of has some feline features to them, so they're a little bit more pointed 
towards the center of the face and more rounded, I guess. I'm also just not very good at drawing faces, in my opinion, at least looking like the person I'm trying to draw. So this is like my best interpretation of how I would draw him. And the nice thing about this particular project is that you don't have to work with too much shadow or tonality or anything like that. It's basically just like line work. In a way, it's a little bit abstract, but not really. You kind of just have to pay attention to some of the details that kind of get the features correct and everything like that. But once I had my eyes drawn, I then drew the brim of the hat so that kind of gave me more of where my proportions are for the rest of the face. And then once I had that brim drawn, I then went in with the scar, which it's literally like two lines attached together, but you don't go through the eyes, so it looks more scar-like. And then I drew in the nose and the mouth, and honestly, I don't have any good explanation on how you should draw a nose and a mouth. I'm still trying to figure that out without it looking too much, but once I had that, I just drew in very like quick strokes for the hair on the sides, as well as like the ear and the earring, which not really the earring, it's like the strap or rope of the hat I think but they're like beaded work so you could just do a lot of like little circles and cylinders to kind of give that more essence. Also don't forget the neck. You don't really see much of his shoulders at least how I drew it so I didn't add any more details but if you get the shoulders add a shirt and everything like that like the collar of it to give them this essence of the shirt. And when you do the hat make sure it kind of looks like a straw rice hat if you know what those look like. It kind of comes to a point like it's cone shaped but not too much honestly i don't know how else to describe it but if you don't know what it looks like look up a strat or use your reference picture like i'm doing here throughout the video also don't forget to do the inside of the hat so like the extra brim that create inside or the illusion of the inside of the hat which i guess i forgot to mention just now so don't forget to do that and lastly my favorite part of doing this whole sketch was doing like the grid work of it and it's kind of like a mindless messy straw hat hat look that you're gonna go for but there's still some structure so when you're doing the horizontal lines you kind of want to like have a little curve that goes along with the brim that you just made so it kind of gives the illusion of like the 3d effect of the cone kind of creating the cone shape and when you're doing the vertical lines you want to kind of curve the outer part of the vertical lines inward and then when you're kind of going inward to the center of the brim hat then they are going to go straight so it kind of gives more of a curve to the hat. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope the video makes more sense than me explaining it, but you're going to do the exact same thing when you're doing the inside of the brim hat. You're going to kind of do the horizontal lines following the bottom of the brim, so it's kind of more upward stroke, upward, like the curves are more upward, pointed upward, if that makes sense. And then same thing with the vertical lines as the top of the hat, and kind of got some structure to the hat now. I really hope that made sense or that the visual part helps me explain it better but now that you're done with this part you can leave the t-shirt as it is completely fine leaving it as is or you can take it a step further and kind of make it cohesive with the front of the shirt you'll just kind of add splatters squiggles brush strokes tie dyeing effects of the shirt to match the front so it'll look more cohesive but you literally can leave the back of the shirt just like it is but that's the freedom part when you are done with the sketch so that is it for this t-shirt. Cue the b-roll. Up in the hills smoking cigarillos waiting on a vision Of what our life would be like If we were dreaming and together we were wishing Cause now I'm living in the city and you're back home And all I'm doing is I'm singing Yes I'm singing I hope you enjoyed this video, and as I stated in the intro, this video is kind of long overdue, especially if you've been following my art Instagram or my art TikTok, which if you haven't already, please go follow it. Even though I'm a little inactive over there, but it's because of school, I'm sorry. <laughs> then you would know that I've had this shirt up on both accounts probably since July or close to when the actual digital music video dropped. So the hype is not really there anymore, but I debated on posting this because I didn't know if anyone would be interested, but I had some friends that persuaded me to do it. And I thought, why not? Considering I feel like a lot of you guys like to watch me paint and to draw even though I feel like my artistic abilities are still growing and progressing as time goes and even though you guys are probably 
was really not gonna do this DIY. I hope I inspired you to try and paint with bleach or bleach tie-dye. Mostly just to draw and paint with bleach. If it did, let me know. Also like maybe tag me if you decide to do it. And like and of course subscribe to see my face. Although you don't see my face all the time because last week's video was a painting compilation. So subscribe for more art content I guess. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.